Trying to pick up and convert here. Daniels with pressure. Got rid of it. Man wide open in the end zone. Catching it. Brian Thomas redeeming himself. One of the easiest touchdowns Jaden will throw in his career. You'll see a lot of number 10, hopefully, playing cornerback. Second down and nine. Crowley going to the end zone against Harris. Beautiful catch. J.R. Waters right around Harris. Somehow secured that football for the touchdown. We circled him, say, hey, number 10's on the field. Let's see what he can do, and he's draped all over the receiver. In the fourth quarter. He's going to throw again here, steps up, heaves it deep downfield. He's got Chris Hilton, and he's got a touchdown. Chris Hilton had a couple of steps on Ryan Fields, who just had the penalty moments ago. 47 yards, and LSU goes back in front. And then Hilton is going to run the big post. You see the safety takes number two, what he should be doing. And then because of that condensed formation, you're going to have great leverage on that corner. He's going to be outside leverage. Off the left hip of Daniels, his neighbors goes in motion. They're going to pop it to him again. Neighbors going for the pylon. He got it. Touchdown. Boy, he made that look really easy. Malik Neighbors in from seven yards out. It was the lazy jog over. Am I going to get the jet sweep? Am I not? Number 97 and... I'll take my matchup with number eight against a defensive end any day of the week. And I believe that's a passing touchdown, it is. too. And that's number so three nice. for Daniels. He's got the hat trick here in the first half. Eight plays on this series. Six have been running plays. Digs again. Sneaks in there for the touchdown. Logan Diggs, his first touchdown in a Tiger uniform. I mean, look at the right side of the offensive line. The big freshman, Lance Hurd, getting his first opportunity to get in there and play some football. Complete command. And There's Daniels again surveying. He's going to go to the back of the end zone for Neighbors. It was juggled, but he held on. No, that was Thomas. Thomas got it for the 10-yard touchdown grab right under the goal post. He's looked really good tonight. No, he's looked really good tonight. Just a big man for Jaden. Can't hold on to the ball long. This needs to be a quick read. Ball has to be thrown in the end zone. That's what he does to the end zone for Lacey. Got it. Touchdown. Kyron Lacey. We call it a pick route, but we don't even want to use the word pick because then defenders get mad. But they try and sneak it in with Nussmeyer, and they got it. Touchdown. Here at Nussmeyer. I'm out. But you still need that one-two punch that you can rely on game in and game out. Tight end Pimpton goes in motion. They go back to Jackson. Jackson angles his way into the end zone from five yards out. First touchdown for Caleb Jackson. Running back by committee. What you need in this league. And man, that was smooth. Just to be able to get the handoff while keeping your eyes up to see the defender running free right in the hole. Man, LSU is 5-6 deep plus a really good tight end. And now uh, Jackson picking his way, has it. Backs his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Three-yard touchdown run for Caleb Jackson. And that's his second. Well... Second down and goal. And it is Kane walking in for the touchdown. Every drive tonight has resulted in a touchdown for LSU. You remember last week, was it Oregon who put up, uh, what, 80 points, something like that? Yep. Or was it versus Portland State, I believe? And it's Ole Miss did that. That, uh, of, 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 of that type of game. I mean, you could not script it any better if you're Mike Denbrock of... 
That's it, ball game. 72 to 10, the final LSU. End of the fourth quarter. Had a rough week last week in uh, Orlando, but things went pretty well tonight. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.